Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Weenie. Today's topic, is it broken? Is it broken? Is my bone broken? How do I know? Okay, you're out in the soccer field, football, playing baseball, got in a car accident, fell off your bike. Woke up. What? <laughs> Woke up on the wrong side of the bed from a crazy night. Yep. The night before, it's an unidentified party injury. UPI, we don't know. But is the bone broken? Okay, so we're gonna to try to break down like the top five ways that you can increase your chances of knowing whether or not your bone is broken. Okay, number one. Number one, it hurts. Usually, 99% of the time, if you have a broken bone, it hurts. Totally agree. Um, number two, I'd say pain and swelling. So you look down and either your arm or your leg or your ankle or whatever is, is swollen and yeah. potentially even red. So that is a potential red flag for a broken bone. Red hot swollen. Red hot Could swollen. be broken. Yep. <clears throat> number three is it's deformed. Okay. It doesn't look like the other side. I tried to stick my arm out this way. It went out that way. Yeah. Deformity. It's crooked. Uh, number four for me would be loss of function. So if you can't do something that you used to be able to do, so you can't lift stand something up. Stand on it and falling over. You can't weight bear on it. You're like, Won't it hurts so much, I can't, I can't stand on it. So uh, loss of function. Okay, uh, number five would be some history of trauma. You hurt yourself in some way. There's some form of trauma. So you fell off a ladder, now you have a sore foot. Your foot might be broken. There's trauma. Do you always have to have trauma though? So no, in rare cases, there are other types of pathology that can lead to spontaneous fractures or what are called pathological fractures where you might not have trauma or have very, very mild trauma. Um, things like severe osteoporosis or right. cancer or yeah. metabolic bone diseases. Uh, thankfully, they're very rare, but just because you didn't have trauma doesn't mean it's yeah. not broken if you have all the other stuff. Yeah, we call that a pathologic fracture, when the bone breaks under normal loads, okay? Pathologic fracture, there's reason for that. Or you could even have a stress fracture, which is a type of fracture that occurs from overuse. So like we see this in soldiers who do yep. a lot of marching, 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 they can break a bone in their Runners. foot. Runners. Runners, that kind of thing. You can get a stress fracture without a specific trauma, or it's really micro trauma over a long period of time. Yeah. Okay, so there you go, five ways to tell. How, what's the definitive way that we use to tell. Is it with a laser? <clears throat> laser. What? No, <laughs> not a laser. We use an x-ray. 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 And then in really rare circumstances, Paul, is it always shown on an x-ray? You're like, you know what? I'm still really nervous yeah, that this yeah, bone's yeah. broken. What else could we do? You know, check out our video on growth plate injuries. Sometimes they don't show up on x-ray. Right. So I would say the other thing that I was actually more going for would be like a subtle fraction that might be seen on a CT scan, mm, CT scan. or an MRI yeah. or even a really subtle one on a bone scan like the stress yeah. fracture you talk about. Yeah. So some sort of imaging. We have various imaging modalities available to us to see these fractures, but you want to know you're not going to wheel the CT scanner out onto the soccer field. You want to be that know-it-all dad that goes out there and says, yeah, that's broken because I see five signs of fracture. Exactly. So there you go. Try to give you a little bit of a guide to know whether or not your bone is broken. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.